Okay, what we're going to do now is trim up these two cables and just make them a whole bunch nicer. So we'll start with the factory cable and you can see I've already kind of messed up the ends. That's because I prototyped this up with a little bit of just twisted them together onto the existing harness and black taped it together just to make sure everything was going to work. So what I'm going to do is, since this is not what I want, I'm going to go ahead and trim all these off and start over. So what I'll do is just kind of get them all about even and then you just nip them off and then I'll strip them back and start over on this one. There we go. I'm going to nip off these little ends so I can strip them back and get some some fresh ends. Well, let's make it a mess. So, you know, no rocket science here. Just going to clean them up, match them color to color, and then uh, solder them and heat shrink them. So, so that's the factory harness. Now it's kind of all cleaned up, so that's a lot better. Looks a lot better. And I'm not going to use this blue line, so I'm just going to leave it sealed off on the end. And then this harness I bought from Walmart, this octopus looking thing, turns out that this is the connector that I want. The rest of these don't do me any good. And I could just nip them off, but then I'd have all these stubs pointing out. And I think that I've, I can get enough wire coming out of this that I can trim these off and use this connector. And there's plenty of wire on the end of this factory harness to give me length. So what I'm going to do is reach out just about as, as far as I can go off of this connector, but I'm going to trim each one of these off and try to just salvage the uh, connector that I want that goes into the truck with just enough wire to make a nice cable harness. So you can see I'm just reaching there and you know, trimming them off. as I go, try and trim them up as far as I can so I can salvage as much wire as I can to strip down and solder to. Get this out of the way. There's the ground. I need that one. Power. I guess accessory power. Main power. And then illumination. So there we go. So the rest of this octopus, which fits you know, other vehicles, I don't really want, so I'll set that out of the way. And then this is the piece that I wanted to salvage. So I've got the speakers over here on this end. The subwoofer ground with, that their radio harness provides that this radio doesn't support. Ground, power, power, illumination, and illumination ground. So for these that I ain't going to use, the illumination, illumination ground, and uh, subwoofer ground, what I'll end up doing is just trimming those off and putting a piece of heat shrink on them just to protect the ends so they don't touch up against something. So there we go. There's the new end. And what I'll do now is just take a set of wire strippers, strip off the ends, solder them together, heat shrink them, and should end up with a, a nice cable. As you can see, you've got all the right colors, just match up the colors. And uh, then you should end up with a short little stubby piece of nice cable. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and strip these and solder together. And I won't you know, show you all that if you want to know how to solder and heat shrink. There's plenty of YouTube videos on that and that's not rocket science. But, uh, you know, just strip each one back. Strip it on both sides, put them together, solder them up, and then uh, slip a piece of heat shrink over them, shrink it down, and uh, we'll have a cable. So I'll do all that and then come back and show it to you. And it should end up looking a whole bunch nicer than you know this rat's, rat's nest that uh, I had before that I was testing with.